For decades, I saw celebrities and people from all over the world talk about that they wanted to move to the villages when they retired. I had no idea what the villages had to offer. I would see the commercials, I'd see the things that it had to offer a little bit, but you know who knows a lot about the villages? Is my partner, Bree. She sells a bunch <laughs> up here. She's actually our villages specialist. And so today we're gonna dive in and you're gonna teach me a little bit about the area, right? Yeah, we're gonna dive into everything because there's so much that you probably don't know and I know Ken doesn't either. Let's get into it. <laughs> So where are we in proximity to everything right now? So we're about one hour from Orlando International Airport and one hour from the resort in Disney areas. Okay, and so tell me like what county is this? So it's not one county. It actually spans across three different counties. So we're in Sumter, Lake, and Marion. It's oh three different zip codes. It's massive. So it's not just like this little community. No, and that's the biggest misconception is that the villages is one town. There's yeah. actually 78 different villages within the villages still growing. They're building new ones now in over 100,000 homes. Oh my, 100,000 houses. 100,000. That's amazing. <laughs> and so I mean like our normal communities are like 800, 1,000 houses. It's kind of like a big neighborhood here. But right. Like 100,000 is a whole nother level. A whole nother level. There's truly nothing like the magnitude of the villages. Okay, so we're kind of, you said an hour from Disney, hour from the airport, a little bit on its own island. So what would draw people here? That's a good question because if you're moving from out of state, you probably thought you wanted to be in the resort areas, yeah. but a good thing to know is that the villages is actually the largest active retirement community in the world and the largest golf community in the world. So I think that alone tells you how much there is to offer here. So once people are here, they never really need to leave. No, yeah. you have everything you could ever need right here. That's so awesome. Okay, cool. I think we should dive into it a little bit more then. Yeah. All right, let's go. All right, so 100,000 houses is a ton. So let's help them break down like where we're at or how they choose like the different areas. How does that look? So right now we're in Lake Sumter Landing. This okay. is the most centrally located town square. So there's three separate town squares. Lake Sumter Landing, like where we are now, like yep. I said. Lots of shops, a lot of like cool little things so, here. So much neat lifestyle when yep. you're talking about nightlife or even just lunchtime, right? There's a lot of fun things to do. Then there's Brownwood Paddock Square. Okay. And then there's also Spanish Springs. So they all have their own neat little vibe to them. And it depends on where you want to be. This is, like I said, central. There's also the northern and southern parts of the villages. And that's what helps draw you in. How would somebody make a decision on where in the villages that they Want to live. So it's really based on location. So Lake Sumter Landing, for example, it's located right in the heart of the villages. So it's 20 minutes north, 20 minutes south. If you're involved in a lot of activities and a lot of sports, you want easy access to both sure. um, parts of the villages. So that way you can jump in your car and meet everyone up to play without having a super long drive. All right, let's continue in that and let's talk about the different home styles if that's okay. Yeah. All right, cool. All right, so house different style types and that kind of thing. Is it like all just like little villas or are they big houses or what, what does it look like? like so way? there are villas, but when we're talking about single family homes, there's three different series. Okay. It's cottage, designer, and premier. And what are the and differences? So there's different floor plans within each of those series. Almost way too many floor plans for people to even know the difference. Yeah, 100,000, there's probably some different <laughs> kinds of tiles. But there are really neat um, offerings within each of those. And then obviously premier being the most high end home, but you can actually find a single family home anywhere from $200,000 all the way up to a million dollars. Wow, okay, cool. And how would somebody differentiate between like those $200,000 houses and the million dollar homes? Yeah, so it's important to know that you get all the same lifestyles as you would in that million dollar home like you do in the 200,000, yeah. but you can get a great single family home for not too much of an investment, or you can start looking at golf course views, water views, conservation in the back. There are so many additional premiums that you can add yeah. on that, that differentiate between the two. Okay, and then what about size of the house? Like what would be the small end all the way to the big size? Yes, yeah, so you have homes. 1100 1200 square feet all the way upwards of 3500 square feet so nice. you're looking at small but great single family homes all the way up to estate sized homes I love that
Uh, so lifestyle is a huge reason why people move here, right? Yes. So what are some things that people have to know about moving to the villages? You have to know that there's over 2,500 social clubs and activities. That's probably mind blowing, but there's truly something for everyone. Okay. Even if you think there's nothing that would exist for what you're interested in. Nice, okay, so name out what are a few things that people would get into? Crafting, ceramics, RC clubs, boating, hiking, archery. I mean, you name it, it exists. There's something for you. Okay, yeah. there actually is. It's funny, because a lot of realtors say like, uh, oh, it's a lifestyle. You're buying into a lifestyle in other neighborhoods, but this is like truly a lifestyle that people don't see elsewhere. Truly, yeah, it truly is a lifestyle. I mean, once you get into the villages, you never have to leave. I mean, when you're looking at all the things that you can access and what's available to you, I don't know of any person that would want to live anywhere else. That's amazing. <laughs> all right, so there's golf carts everywhere. You had mentioned and alluded to some of the golf courses here. What's going on with all these golf carts going on? All the golf carts. So it's not just for golf. Even if you're not a golfer and you come to the villages, you're going to want your own cart because you can access everything by golf cart. This is, I mean, some of these are like really tricked out. Look, look at this guy, this is insane. So are there like, <laughs> what is that? So are there like golf course dealerships and that kind of thing? Right here? Oh well, my gosh, park? there's basically a golf cart dealership on every corner and there's also individual golf cart gas stations. That's amazing. Can we should probably go check out one. Yeah. All right, awesome. <laughs> So golf is a pretty big deal here. It is huge. Like, like I mentioned, this is the largest golf community in the world. That consists of 12 championship courses and 38 executive golf courses. So if you're into golf, this might be a place you might want to live. Uh, you might want to check it out. <laughs> All right, so golf courses, social memberships, what else is there in terms of amenities? Amenity centers are one of the biggest pieces here in the villages because each individual village has its own amenity center. You're looking at each one having a pool, maybe a shuffleboard court, tennis courts, so they have it all, and there's over 100 of them. There's 100 of them? Oh, 100, Well, there's 100,000 yeah. houses here, so how many residents are there, just out of curiosity? I mean, there's well over 100,000 residents also, yeah. and especially when you think about people coming down during the winter months, and mm -hmm. then also some um, homes are used for Airbnb purposes, so other people uh, can come down, rent it out, and try to enjoy the lifestyle. So you see a good amount of residents here around. Heck yeah, so I mean, 100,000 people or houses, 100 amenities. Yes. Ton and what about lifestyle directors? Are there like people that help manage all that stuff? Yeah, absolutely. So there's people within the villages that help with that. You'll also find neighborhood centers, regional centers, and a lot of different actual structure already set up to help manage all of these things. It's also important to know that when you become a resident in the villages, you get your resident key card. This is a really big deal. Like keys to the kingdom, it basically. It is, yeah. keys to the kingdom, and this is like your most sacred piece because it gets you access into every village, every amenity center, so no matter where you live, you can check them all out. All right, so Russ, you live in the villages. Yes. How long have you lived here? Uh, owned here for five years, lived here for three. And, and so how long ago did you first hear about the villages? Probably about ten years ago. Ten, Maybe you, a little bit longer. A friend of mine bought down here and kept telling me to come down and check it out. But it always seemed like it was too good to be true. And what, oh, so five years later, <laughs> is it too good to be true? No. No? <laughs> That's awesome. Do you have any questions? Can you, you imagine yourself anywhere else? No. No? Is uh. I came from Ohio, and back in Ohio, I'd be sitting on the couch <laughs> waiting for it to warm up to go outside. Yeah. That's so awesome. All right, very cool. Thanks for your time, man. Thank you. That. Super cool. All right, so this is pretty amazing. Like, I'm walking through here, it kind of blows me away. So what are some things people maybe not like naturally know to ask about moving to the villages? So one of them is definitely the bond, which okay. you can reach out to me to get some more information. I can really break it down for you. What is that's, that covered? Yeah, it's a major one. So it is, um, there's one for each home. So basically just covers the development of the lot and of each individual village itself. Okay. So you want to know how much is left on the bond or if the bond has been paid. So somebody wants to like pay that bond off, could they do that? Yeah, you definitely can. There's um, some different things that go into it though when you have to look at um, bond assessment fees and interest. So I can really do the breakdown if they reach out to me to ask more questions. Nice. Um, what about like a homeowners association? So it's not called the HOA, okay. and there is no monthly HOA. It's called the amenity center fees. The amenity so, center. Yeah, right. Of 100, <laughs> what, and what does that cost right now? Just so each 
individual homeowner, it's running about $164 a month. Of course, that can always change, but that is going to be a consistent fee to fund those amenity centers. Yeah, and what about like maybe taxes? Is that something that people need to worry about? Taxes are definitely a huge thing. Like I said earlier, we span across three counties. So that's Lake Sumter and Marion, and the millage rates are different between each county. So we want to make sure that we're breaking down and looking at what your tax will be depending on which house you're looking at. So you could be in one county and it's more expensive in another county and it's cheaper? You could be one street away, end up in Lake, and one in Sumter and have about a $3,000 difference. Oh, that's crazy. That's crazy. <laughs> All right, so my last question for you here is like, can I move here? Uh, not quite yet. Oh, okay. You definitely have to be 55 or older, so maybe okay. when you hit that mark, you let me know. All right, let me know. <laughs> definitely. <laughs>so I hope you guys got to know a little bit more about the villages. I'm massively impressed. I've only lived an hour away from here, but this is the first time you got me to come up here. Yeah, first time I was finally able to convince Ken to make the drive and it was so worth it. Yeah, I love it. So if people want to get a hold of you and kind of navigate the space, because there's some things to know about buying in the, in the villages. It's different than everywhere else, right? Yeah, it can be a little confusing and I really want to break down the process for you and make sure that you're totally set up before you get here. So you can contact me by email, brie at posagroup.com or you can follow me on Instagram. Awesome, we'll see you guys on the next video. What are you waiting for, Jay? You know what I'm waiting for.